Hello to all. Today we are going to discuss some MCQs based on the evolution on the point of view of the NEET exams and the AIMS exam. Uh, this topic is very important because regularly the questions are asked from uh, this particular topic and all the questions what I will be discussing today that all are actually from the NCRTs particularly from the NCRTs and uh, there is probability of asking these type of the questions in the forthcoming NEET and the AIMS exams. Now the very first question is the following diagram represent as it is clear that in chapter number 7 class 12th on page number 133 and the figure 7.5 you can see that few diagrams are given and these diagrams are actually representing the black colored birds okay found on the Galapagos Island uh, and these are the Darwin finches okay and uh, this diagram of the Darwin finches is the best example to show the adaptive radiation okay and uh, uh, this adaptive radiation is also showing the divergent evolution now what is adaptive radiation that is the development of some species in a particular geographical area starting from a common point and then literally radiating to other areas of geography is called as the adaptive radiation so these black colored birds which amazed the Darwin on the Galapagos Island which were later called as the Darwin finches represent a very good example of adaptive radiation as well as the divergent evolution so the question number one is having the best answer that is both A and B adaptive radiation as well as the divergent evolution okay so uh, adaptive radiation and divergent evolution D option is the correct one now the next question is the following diagram represent this question is also from the NCRT chapter number 7 of evolution page number 131 and figure 7.3 B diagram these diagrams are given in NCRT okay now the question is that the following diagram represent the homologous organ vestigial organ analogous organ or the convergent evolution again I am repeating homologous organ vestigial organ analogous organ and convergent evolution so the best answer is the homologous organ this diagram is representing the homologous organ what are homologous organs the organs which are same in structure but have different functions okay uh, you may have seen the diagram in the NCRT that is the four limb of the human being okay and the cheetahs right and the bats all are same but the functions are different okay so the answer is homologous organ fine now the question number three is from chapter number seven page number 135 mutations discovered by Hugo de Vries are mutations discovered by Hugo de Vries are small and directional random and directional large and bidirectional and small and directionless you know very well that mutation were discovered by Hugo de Vries okay and according to Hugo de Vries the mutations are random and directionless what the Hugo de Vries said that mutations are random and directionless so always remember that according to Hugo de Vries the mutations are random and directionless right now question number four is transfer of genes from one gene pool to another is called transfer of genes from one gene pool to another is called the genetic drift speciation gene flow or mutation it is given on page number 137 chapter number 7 that transfer of genes from one gene pool to another gene pool is called as gene flow so the option number C is the correct one that transfer of genes from one gene pool to another gene pool is the gene flow okay now question number five it's very very important one many times this question is asked following is the diagram following is the diagrammatic representation of natural selection 
on different traits. Again, I am repeating, following is the diagrammatic representation of natural selection on different traits. Okay. Now, which of the following options, these are the options given, which are, which of the following options correctly identifies all the three graphs A, B and C. Okay. Now, this question is from chapter number 7, that is evolution, page number 136 and figure is 7.8 of NCRP. Now, these are the following diagrams given, right? Say for, uh, we have taken a phenotype height and frequency. Height and frequencies are plotted, okay? And these three diagrams are given. This is diagram number A, this is diagram number B and this is diagram number C. Now, the question is that which diagram out of the A, B, C is representing the directional, stabilizing and the disruptive one, okay? You have to see that which is uh, directional, which is stabilizing and which is disruptive one. So, if we see the NCRT, then the very first diagram, that is the diagram number A, is the stabilizing one. It is the stabilizing one. The diagram number B, you can see the graph that it is the directional one. It is the directional one. Okay, this is stabilizing, this is directional and this is disruptive. This is disruptive. So, A is stabilizing, B is directional and C is disruptive. So, the option number B is the correct one. Okay, so A, B and C represent stabilizing direction and disruptive okay so these were some questions uh, which were based on the chapter evolution of class 12th these questions may be very important for the neat and aims so thanks a lot for watching me uh, you can wait for the next videos also uh, before neat and aims will be coming soon with many new videos based on mcqs if you want to take the screenshot you can take